He said, bless those who curse you. Do good to those who what? Hate you. Then hate us. Yeah, 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 yeah. He says, do good to those who what? Hate you. And pray for what? Those who spitefully use you. And what? And persecute you. He's not asking you to pray that they be blind. No. Pray for their good. Say, Pastor, you don't know my mother-in-law. That's why I didn't marry from that family. <laughs> Praying that she dies so you can have peace in your marriage. <laughs> God don't answer such prayers. Because the reason why you're not enjoying the marriage has nothing to do with anybody but you. Amen. Peace does not come from outside. It comes from within. Because Jesus said, my peace, I give. meaning you already have it, so let it flow. Amen? Amen. Amen. Okay, let's let's. let's Let's go on. Go back. He said, and persecute it. Now notice, he said, pray for those who spitefully use you and persecute you. There's no place here where he says gossip about them. He didn't say report them. He says what? Oh, I'm just so upset. Why? My boss, that, you know, and you as the wife or the husband, your, your, your spouse came back from work and they're just venting and just, they're, just, they're just talking me, me, me about their boss who has spitefully used them that day. Well. You say, hold on, honey. Let's pray for him. Yeah. That's the word. That's the doing of the word now. Yeah. Don't say, yes! I'm telling you. Give me the phone. Let me call him. Let me talk sense to him. That's not what Jesus said. He said, pray for those who spitefully what? Use you. For what? Why do you have to do all of this? Next verse. That you may be what? Not because you are not a son of your father. So that the glory of the father can be manifested through you. So that the anointing of the spirit can flow through you. So that the character of your father can be in manifestation through you. He said anything short of the previous verses is going to set you back. In other words, anything outside of loving, praying, and blessing these folks is going to choke the anointing of the Holy Ghost. He's going to choke the blessing. He's going to choke the flow. You are going to live as though you are, not, you are not the son of God. With all that is going for you, nothing will be seen. Keep going. For if you love those who love you, what reward have you? Do you not even, don't, do not even the task collector do the same? Next verse. And if you greet your brethren only, what do you do more than others. Do not even the task collectors do, this, do so. In other words, can I tell you something? If you, own, if you knew how deadly it is to have people that you talk to and people that you don't talk to, if you knew how poisonous it is to have certain people on your list that you don't talk to, you saw them coming, suddenly you have your cell phone in your ear. You are not calling anybody. You are acting like you're on the phone so you don't greet them. They are coming this way and you're like, oh, ah, ah. You are supposed to come out of the car. The moment you saw this other person driving, you have delayed in the car. You stay in the car like, mm. oh, I'm going to worship the Lord. So you can avoid that person. 
is even more terrible for husbands and husband and a wife that live under the same roof to be avoided themselves. What a shame. If you knew in the spirit what that looks like, you will repent and cry. Nonetheless, someone else. Amen, amen. He said, even the task collectors, they do the same. Are you a task collector? You have to understand that back in Bible days, to be a task collector is public enemy number one. You are devil in manifestation to be a task collector back there. When, it, when you see a task collector, you have seen a devil. They have no mercy. I'm serious. Go study for yourself. For Jesus was equating this to a tax collector. <laughs> he said, even the worst of the bunch do this good. They greet some people. There are some people they don't greet. See, why, why, why do you think you're different from them? Keep going. We're talking about practical now. Amen? Amen. Therefore, you shall be... Pray- now, this one right here, is the big one. This is Jesus saying, therefore, you shall be perfect just as your father in heaven is what? You know what he's saying? You know what he's saying, right? He said, love like God. Why will they ask you to do that if you don't have the ability to do so? He said, be perfect, even as your father is what? He's perfect. Because your father causes rain to fall on both the just and what? And the unjust. He said, do the same. Love everybody equally. That's what your father in heaven did. Have no limit to your love and your forgiveness. Be steadfast, he says. Be what? Be steadfast. I'm not naive that there are certain people in your past or even in your present, maybe in your future, that we can equate to be task collectors. They are unbearable. They are worse than a bee. Mm, Say, I will take a bee. If you ask me to choose between this guy and a honeybee. I say, honeybee, I choose you. I know you sting and it's painful, but this guy, no. Jesus is saying, choose this guy that you think is worse than a honeybee. I know there are certain people who have lied out of everything that have that in their body about you. But Jesus is saying, even that is not an excuse to walk in unforgiveness. Amen? Amen. Because these are things that can cause you not to take that position where you'll be able to stand against the devices and all that the enemy is going to throw at you. Because the moment you have unforgiveness in your heart, you can't stand firmly. No. The moment you have some people that you talk to and some people that you don't talk to, there's no way you can stand against what the enemy is going to throw at you. Because when you study the scripture, the Bible says, give no place to the devil. And when you read in context, it was dealing with bitterness, offense, and all of that stuff. Remember what Jesus said? He said, offense will always come. It comes from everywhere. But regardless of where the origin of these things, you must stand and hold your ground in love. 